That's very kind. Thank you very much. Well, there, there, there is a certain amount of mimetics in the God Delusion. Um, uh, perhaps not as much as some people would wish, perhaps more than other people would wish. Um, I think there's about half a chapter on it. Uh, I, I suppose the mimetic approach would be to say that uh, religious ideas might not be deliberately crafted by cynical priests uh, in the interests of their own well-being or the well-being of their, uh, their, 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 their church, whatever it is, but religions might simply grow by a kind of natural selection, not a genetic natural selection, a mimetic natural selection, a natural selection of ideas in the meme pool, ideas in the pool of ideas. So the reason why so many religions believe in life after death in, by this model would be that life after death is an appealing idea, and therefore when people hear somebody say, you're going to survive your own death, they say, oh, that's good, I'll go and tell somebody else about that. And so the idea spreads. So popular ideas, ideas that people enjoy, spread in the same way as popular tunes spread, good tunes spread, when people whistle them, other people pick them up and whistle them too, whereas a bad tune would not spread. So that would be a, a mimetic approach to the explanation of religion. It gets a lot more complex than that too. The idea of a meme complex or uh, memeplex, as it has been called. A, to explain that, I, I need to go back to gene complexes. G genes in natural selection, you know that natural selection is fundamentally all about the differential survival of genes in gene pools. The simple way to express that is to say that genes survive in the environment provided by the world, by the trees, by the predators, by the diseases, and so on. But probably the most important part of the environment in which a gene survives is the other genes in the gene pool of the species. Because it's those other genes that the genes that are being selected have to be compatible with. So that every gene is being selected not only for its ability to make a good coat of hair or a good anti-predator behavior, but is being selected for its ability to survive against the background of the other genes in the gene pool, genes which on average, it's going to have to share bodies with. Now, maybe the same thing happens with memes. Maybe there are meme complexes, just like gene complexes. Maybe the whole of, say, the Roman Catholic Church is a, a, is a, is a meme complex. It's a group of memes which, while not necessarily having high survival value in themselves, they do have high survival value against the background of each other, in the context of each other, in the meme pool provided by the other Catholic memes. So that's another application of memetics to the study of religion. Those are both in the God Delusion. <laughs>